Looks like Soifon and Amida took care of their opponents. But Rangiku has got her work cut out for her. Something on your mind? Nothing you need to concern yourself with. Worried about your subordinate? If you're going to fight me, you should concentrate. If you don't... <gasps> you're dead. Spiritual pressure wavered for a moment. What are you talking about? Something happened. News to me. Momo. Your energy and focus have increased quite a bit. Is it because your subordinate is safe now that your head captain has joined the battle? That's none of your business! You are, you're still just the third strongest? As powerful as I am, you say. I don't recall showing you the full extent of my power just yet. Bankai! Dai Guren Hyarin Maru! So is that all you've got? How pitiful. Hola, Azul! Hola, <laughs> Azul! So, is that it? This is the extent of a captain's strength? It's hard to believe. Apache and the others were beaten by this. I will crush you. And make sure you will not have the will to get up again. You will be broken into pieces. Hunt. Tiberon! You are powerless. Your ice dragon is drowned by a single strike from a shark. You will suffer. <laughs> How can you still be alive? After your sword release, I didn't think that your speed and range would increase so quickly. But I took a few precautions. An illusion made of ice? I can only use a move like this once, so I held off using it until I knew it would have the maximum effect on our battle. Our strength is not to be underestimated. It's clear to me now. As I might have expected from a captain-level Soul Reaper, you have an ability proportionate to your rank. It helps you avoid danger, but I hope you don't think that's enough to save you. I don't need saving. Oh, the 
that's a lot of destructive power! Her lethal power is unstoppable. It will eventually consume her opponent, leading to his death. I'm already familiar with that technique! You've misjudged me. My son Pacto is extremely powerful. In case you didn't notice, its ice and snow capability has the strength to turn any kind of water into a lethal weapon, even if the water in question happens to be your weapon. The truth is, if all you can do is manipulate water, then your attacks will never be able to reach me. They can. And they will. If you want to see the proof, then I'll show you. I told you that you misjudged me. That was your first mistake! Actually, you're the one who misjudged me. Hiriviendo. think that I'm a big enough fool to be taken in by another one of your tricks? That was close. I was able to avoid it by quickly putting up a wall of ice. But if I had gotten caught by that force, I wouldn't have lasted a second. I'm not going to stand a chance against her with an ordinary defense. What are you doing? <laughs> are you taking a break? Or did you come to your senses and decide it's time to surrender? We're about to see if your technique is effective or not. Hiriviendo. Your greatest vulnerability is exposed when you use your strongest tactic. For me, that's always been an ironclad rule. Very amusing. La Gota. What is she planning to do? It doesn't look like she's blindly launching a barrage of attacks. Shouldn't you look where you're going? <laughs> Damn it! You seem to be most confident when you're running away. Cero. No more running away for you. You fight such a timid battle. Can't say I really blame you, though. You and I are both waiting for the same thing, aren't we? Waiting for this battleground to be filled with water so we can strike a final blow. So what's your point? It just means one of us will have to make a decision. Have you come up with some sort of strategy? To tell you the truth, it's not really necessary for me to wait for water to gather. I'm ready. <laughs> this spiritual pressure... They're too close to us. Did you hesitate because you might injure your allies? None of your business. You should try worrying about yourself. You're right. Either your allies get sacrificed in this fight, or you yourself will become the sacrifice. Please feel free to pick an option. What about this option? Senen Hiyoto! Are you through? If you don't have anything more, then I guess it's my turn. All right. Ryu Seika!
able to shatter that cascada. But you've accomplished nothing. When we sacrifice ourselves, it's to further our tactical advance. You, on the other hand, are willing to fall in battle simply to protect the other members of your squad. The sacrifices of my predecessors will have all been for nothing. I hold within me the resolve of those that have fallen before me. I'm resolved as well. Resolved to stop you. I suffered a great deal of damage, but I can still fight. Yes, but it's a waste of time. You won't be able to operate at full strength. I'll trust that what strength I have left will be enough to keep you from victory. Such wasted effort. What's going on? My Hyorin Malu is the strongest ice and snow types on Pakto. It allows me to weaponize all kinds of water from any source. The entire sky is always under my control. Hyoten Hyakaso. I wasn't confident that I could fully control it. But since half my ice flowers are gone, and my Bankai is in a weaker state, you could say I'm in the perfect position to use it. Allow me to ask your name, Espada. I am Espada number three. Tear Hollybell. I'm captain of Squad 10, Toshiro Hitsugaya. <laughs> Yoten Hyakaso! Cascada! Anything that snow comes in contact with, freezes instantly in the shape of a flower. By the time these hundred frozen flowers have blossomed, your life will have disappeared. Sorry for that. But I can't let you avenge your subordinates. Hmm. That holly bell. What a disgrace, losing to such an opponent. Damn it. I must have taken too much damage.